Hey, what's up YouTube, Danny James here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this trippy melting background effect inside of Adobe After Effects. Let's get into it. Okay, I have a clip of uh, Yang Yime on my timeline. Right above I have the rotored clip which means I've already rotoscoped her and then right beneath it's everything else plus the background. So on the background layer I want us to go to our effects, add a displacement map, put it on that layer. We'll use Luminous to displace this clip and I want us to add this effect anywhere within this clip. So we will add a keyframe for max horizontal displace. I hit you so that you can see that keyframe. Go a little bit ahead, I would preferably go 8 frames and then I would increase that value just to ensure that we are displacing the subject. Okay, now that we have that enabled, we still have more displacement to do. So I would recommend adding the turbulent displace next and then you can use bulge or turbulent to displace this but essentially i want us to increase the size of the displacement just a bit and then we will reduce the amount so that we can avoid these black spaces so i will let the amount stay at around 20 and then i want us to add a keyframe for offset i will drag that keyframe from here so i'll hit you see that keyframe i will drag that keyframe so that it matches the other one that is that we just added and then displace it like this i'm using the x-axis value to displace this and we have our two keyframes set up and then we can go a little bit ahead probably double the amount of frames so this will be around 16 frames and then i would copy the first keyframe that i added put it right there and the same one for the turbulent displace put it right there so that it stays on for long and now for the real source we'll be needing an external plugin which i will also link down below it's called the vc color vibrance add it onto your background layer the vc vibrance plugin will help us add a bit of color into this effect in the right way so i will increase the vibrance to max which is two okay so we'll add a keyframe for vibrance there and then go at our initial keyframe put it back to zero and at the end of the same movement put it to zero and then inside this time we will change from different colors so we'll click here to add a keyframe for color and then we'll go on rotating about different colors uh, hit you so that you can see your keyframes go a little bit later on add a different color go a little bit on add another color i'm of course adding the brightest colors and then finish it with the same color that you began with like that and then we can space this just a little that's good but in order for this color to look good we'll need it to have a little bit of brightness so go back to your effects add an echo add it here ensure the echo has precedence of our vc put it right above it and we're just going to add a keyframe for decay so right here at the middle add a keyframe for decay make sure it starts at zero also with the other keyframes and ensure that it ends at zero with the other keyframes like that so this is what we have after adding all these effects you can hit you go back to the middle keyframe for the displacement map you can increase the value if you want it to be more projected like that and you can always come back to these effects and try to fine tune in case you want something much more trippy now on the layer that is right above i want us to be able to see the other keyframes now on the layer that is right above which is the rotor just bring in the transform effect disable using the composition shut up angle put yours i will put on 80 degrees add a position keyframe hit you so that you can see the keyframe align it with the others then i'll just move the subject around this area for these few frames and then res reset it back to the origin align that keyframe with the others then spread out these two other keyframes and then you can finish off by adding easy ease on all the keyframes that you've added you can toggle switches and moods add a motion blur on that and this is our final look bam looks really good and yeah that's a really easy melting background effect that i wanted to show you in this video as always don't forget to check out my website at dannyjames.co for preset packs and lots that you might find useful my name is danny james see you guys on the next video peace